Welcome back everyone to this very loud noise. Last time we made it all the way here to the generator, so it's time to finish off the sin. Now first we have to go all the way over here. I think we're meeting up with Stitch if I remember correctly. Now I know the northern zones haven't had a ton change to them because they're still like a work in progress for the redone collection, but I do wonder if there's anything different about this kind of ending section to the quest line. I am just a bit concerned about the fact that it's about to be nighttime. There are no uh there's no sleeping places on this map, is there? Yeah, no. YouTube compression is really gonna love this episode. Hey, Stitch, what's up, brother? There we go, and countdown starts now. Oh, there we go, the game is uh, the game is good. Uh, I can't even see what the imminent emission says. There we go, 17. All right, let's go, let's go, let's go. We gotta kill Sin fast, fast. All right, so up ahead, besides Sin, there are a bunch of landmines throughout here, so let's try not to step on one. I'll be somewhat careful. Oh, oh, there's Snork. I was like wondering what was running at me. All right, we good? Oh, no, there's more. Come on, guys. You kill it. Dude, we have way too many companions. Why does this quest give us so many companions? That's crazy. All right, I think as long as I stick to this road, I don't have... Yeah, you can see those things sticking out. Like, where was it again? Right there. That little thing sticking out. That's what would kill us. All right, I think I'm going to adopt the plan of run in so I don't blow up by a mine and just throw grenades over the side. Don't worry. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. Oh, there's a guy up in that tower. Maybe I should uh, do something about him. Wait, where is he? Wait, I thought he was in the tower. Am I blind? Oh, someone just stepped on a mime. I heard that. Did I just say mime? That's right. We got teammates stepping on mimes. Oh, dude. Are you kidding me? That's messed up. That's messed up. I think my teammates literally just caused that. I don't think anyone threw a grenade. What is going on with my right mouse button? It's like zooming in and out over and over again. I really need to buy a new mouse, guys. Screw it, we're running in really slowly, but we're running in. Oh, oh, okay. I didn't see him crouch there, that's my fault. All right, let's try that one more time. A bit more careful this time. And by a bit, I mean like very slightly. Here, I'll try to kill them from back here, that way I don't have to worry about them. Oh, oh. Great. Well, that worked perfectly. You know, I think we're, we may or may not. Oh, yep. What I was about to say before I died was uh, we really don't have that many more medical supplies, especially first aid kits. So this is going to be kind of a problem. I'm, I, I kind of want to see if I can like run around the area a bit. I don't know if there's explosives out this way. I kind of want to like flank the area. Oh, I see the mines. Oh, they're all right there. Okay. Well, that's fine. As long as I can pick these guys off from a distance, we should be good. So we got him. As long as we are really careful, we should be good. And yeah, there's a guy up there. There you go, got him. Yeah, this entrance seems to be a smarter play like right here, because there's no mines right here. And yeah, they don't even know I'm like here. So let me just toss that. Well, now they know I'm here. Wait, does he have a rocket launcher? Is that what he just did? I, I swear he just rocket launchered me. All right, he's dead. I almost want to put on night vision, but I don't think that would work too well. Yeah, I, I don't know how well that works, really. That's not too bad. Bro, he's just walking? Hello? Did he not notice me? All right, I think we got to go in because I don't know where else they are. So, uh, I think I hear someone. Oh, okay. I hear someone inside this building, I'm pretty sure. Or no, there's like one dude on the outside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's guys on the outside because that's where the uh, marker's telling us to go. Here, take grenades. Oh, got him. Apparently, there's another dude, like, right here. Hello? Oh, okay. He's dead. Another guy, like, in the forest right here. Come on, guys. Get him. Get him. That's right. They got him. Nice. All right, cool. I guess uh, time to loot the dead bodies, because he's just going to sit here and uh, do nothing for a little bit until we talk to him. Yeah, see, look. This guy had a freaking RPG on him. Jesus. All right, now, last time I looted these guys in my previous playthrough, I stupidly walked on mines, so let's not do that again. It does seem to happen quite frequently, unfortunately. Oh, my God. Look at all this stuff he had. Holy crap. My dude was freaking rocking it. Yeah, there's a bunch of mines right here. I don't know if I want this. Yeah, no, I don't want that dead body. You guys can keep it. Ooh, Fnatic, are you full? Yeah, he's full. Um... Here's my clear sky, brother. Are you full too? Oh, he's full too. We are out of space. Here, I guess I can start disassembling some ammo. Wait a second. Hold on, hold on. When in the world did he get an IFAC? Thank you. And what in the world is this? This is an IFAC? Well, it's invisible. All right. Let, 
make sure I'm going to watch very carefully. There is no 9 by 21, right? No 9 by 21, because that is what crashes our games. Let me double check. There's no 9 by 21. Oh, there's 9 by 21 right there. Do not click that one. All right, we've unloaded a little. Whoa, 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 whoa. Guys, 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 what are you freaking out? Hello? Guys? I don't know. I don't see nothing, so I'm just not going to worry about it. If I ignore it, it can't hurt me. And, uh, yeah, I probably should actually put a different scope on uh, the shotgun and swap it with Buckshot because we're about to go, like, underground. Yeah, so if we can, we need to edit this quest and remove the amount of companions because there's way too many companions. Like, we do not need this many people, okay? Now, keep in mind, Borka and Fnatic are mine, but the rest of them aren't, so we need to cut this in half. I will, however, love Rogue to death because he can do this for me. Boom, boom, repair. It was really expensive, but now I don't got to worry about it. All right, let's talk to him. Your men are dead. Yep, we'll see about that. Goodbye. I'll see you later, buddy. And here's where Gamma and EFP differ. If you've never played EFP before, uh, in Gamma, you run all the way back to this MPP. In EFP, you can't do that. You got to go down here, and this is where the fun begins. All right, down we go, and... Oh, I love the door sound that that makes but uh yeah so now we're down here as you can see doors are opening and closing like crazy this is the fun part the second part that's really fun about this place is i actually don't remember where to go so we're just gonna figure this out oh there we go deal with the unknown entity excuse me excuse me he's like saying no to me can you guys kill it please there we go Oh, there's another one. Hi. I just love when Pyro guys and like Polter guys say no. They're just like, no, we're not dying today. Also, why isn't he doing his fire thing? He's just kind of ignoring me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Do I not deal damage to you or something? Like, how come he can kill it? This is BS. Uh, by the way, this is different from last time. Uh, when I did this last time in EFP, there was a ton more mutants. So I need to read the redone patch notes to see if anything has changed. Ooh, a bunch of stuff on the ground. Nice. I will take all that. I, I also remember this door, like, opening and closing over and over again. And I couldn't, like, get through. And it was, like, really infuriating. There we go. Wait, what am I hearing? Oh, and there we go. Unknown entity again. Now, I don't actually remember what to do. All right. Now we got to find, I think, and kill a... What do we have to kill? I think we have to kill a burr. If I remember correctly, there's like a burr up there or something that we have to kill. I actually don't remember. Let me in, let me in, let me in, let me in. All right, cool. Oh, wait, never mind. Do not let me in. There's nothing in there. Can I like pull myself up here? No. Nope. Don't worry, I'll find a way. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. See, we cheat this game. Actually, I might as well. Do I have an energy drink? Yeah, I do. Here, just take one so my energy recovers a bit faster. Yeah, I'm, I'm, tr I'm trying to remember what we actually need to do. Oh, I hear something. I heard a bloodsucker just now. I don't know where it is, but I just heard it. Is it going to scare the shit out of me? No, nothing in this room. No. Nice noises, though. But yeah, nothing in this room. I doubt there's anything over there. No, no, no. Don't push me into the freaking anomaly, you jerks. The, the only issue with this, uh, I remember this being a pain last time because I also couldn't find what we were supposed to kill for a while. I did hear that bloodsucker, so obviously there's a, ah, I, I stepped in that. That's my fault. All right, bloodsucker, are you up here by chance? Come on, you gotta be somewhere nearby, right? I heard you. Yep, I hear it again. It, it's here. Right? Oh, it's down, it's down, it's pointing downward. It's down there, maybe. Yep, there's something down there. Get grenaded. That did not work. Here, get double grenaded. That didn't work either. I guess we're just gonna have to go down there. Wait, he has a health bar. What in the world? I wasn't expecting him to have a health bar. You saw at the top left, he had a health bar, dude. What in the world? Oh, there's uh, there's another one. Wait, where is the other one? Is this down there too? Oh no, in the other room. Great. Oh, that didn't work. Come on guys. Oh, they killed it. Nice job, brothers. That's what I'm talking about. Who's shooting that? Dude, stop. Dude, wait. What did I get? Sh 
wall. He's shooting at me through the wall. Fanatic shooting at me. What is going on? Is it because of that grenade I threw? Hello? Let me teleport him. Fanatic? Dude, he literally shot me like two times through the wall. For the record, by the way, this is why we don't trust our companions. Shooting me through the freaking wall. Bro, hello? We're guys, oh my god, I can't move. Yep, companions are annoying. Please, can we get rid of half of these guys? Wait, 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 question. Can I actually dismiss these guys? Like, if I talk to them, can I say, no, I, I can't say leave me alone. That's unfortunate. Are you kidding me? I jumped directly on it. Nope, not taking it. All right, let's try that again. Okay, ready? Ready? We. There we go. All right, so here's where we come back over here, and now we come down here and talk to the dude, and then there's going to be Sin spawning in behind us. So uh, let's be careful about that. Actually, let me double check. About half mag, you know, that's good enough for now. And there we go. Countdown timer. What's going? Dude, why is it making that noise? I don't remember it making that noise. Yep, there's the... Wait, are they spawning in dead? Wait, wait, they're just dying. <laughs> wait, what's going on? That's a glitch. That is hilarious. They're just spawning in dead. What? Dude, what just happened? Oh, there we go. Teleported me. Yep. Oh, dude, that is a that is a blinding light, brother. I can't see. All right. Yep. Now we're here. Cool. Oh, there we go. Mortal sin. End game. Don't worry. They they'll they'll live the grenades, right? Here, this is a good time to put on this uh, headset. Yeah, the creepy noises are a bit overdone, in my opinion. I still don't think they sound very good. Dude, I can't even see crap. There's like way too many guys. Oh, wait, was that it? Those two guys I killed? No, 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 no. It says there's another dude. There's gotta be, right? Yeah, there he is. There we go. I will admit, night vision is kind of useless, I feel like, half the time. Like, I mean this in the nicest way, I, it's just not worthwhile using. Probably like the- I have freaking seven PSO1 scopes, dude. I wonder what's weighing me down, huh? What do you think could possibly be weighing me down? Also, all this buckshot here, I'm just gonna put that on there. I don't need it. All right, Rogue, where are you? I gotta speak to you, brother. Wait, it doesn't want me to talk- Oh, it wants you to talk to Stitch. Excuse me. Excuse me. I'm, t I'm trying to talk- There we go. There we go. We made it. Another mutant fanatic bites the dust. That's right. And, uh, do you want to make a wish? No, dude. We don't need a wish. But wait, why do I have all the companions still? Huh? Huh? Aren't these guys supposed to disappear or am I going crazy? Uh, I hope these guys aren't staying with me because otherwise I'm going to have to shoot all of them in the head. I'm pretty sure they were supposed to disappear right now. All right. Well, now we got to get out of here. So, uh, time to slowly make our way out of the CMPP. Slowly go down the ladder. Uh, <laughs> he just like, dude. I love it when companions go down like ladders or up walls magically. You know, I'm sure it's very healthy for us to be standing on top of all this like graphene, right? This is definitely healthy. Oh, this isn't the way back. Uh, crap, I forget where to go from here. Is it this way? Is the ladder over here? Yeah, it is, okay. Now, I don't think there would be monolith here because we cleared them out, but you never know. I wish the uh, distorted voice would shut up and stop like talking though, that'd be great. Oh cool, the dead bodies are still here. Hi, man. I'll be taking that ammo that you for some reason still have on you. Oh, my guys are shooting at some, oh, they're probably shooting at a box. Oh wait, no, I heard monolith. Okay, uh, apparently there's monolith here still. Oh dang, all the dead bodies are still here. Holy crap, I guess none of them despawned for some reason. That's interesting. Oh, there's rats here now, cool. I love rats. Oh. Well, uh, yeah, it doesn't look like there's any more monolith. I heard the one dude, but I think that's it. Wait, can we not get back up here? Am I going crazy? Oh, no, we can. You know, I actually don't think I've ever come back up this way before because normally I just run through the control center. So it's good to know I can come back up through here. And uh, is there any monolith out here? Hi, guys. Is there anything? No, dude, it's just freaking pitch black. Holy crap. Oh. Hi. That's cool. Uh, well, I would definitely like to get out of here, so uh, I guess let's start going towards the Taun. Our goal is, of course, now to go down to Sid and tell him what we've done. You know, sometimes I regret being a loner because I have to run all the way down to Sid to talk to him to begin to to begin like main quest lines and stuff. It's like too far, dude. I'm gonna feel really bad though if the companions aren't removed from my party because I'm just gonna have to take them out back and smack them. 
this is a fun looking dark night it would be very very scary if something were to pop out at me i'm trying to like trick the game into actually spooking me which isn't gonna happen you know when i expect something to scare me nothing scares me oh okay well maybe i really shouldn't be opening my mouth yeah i don't i don't see anything but obviously there's something here so uh yeah we're just gonna keep going oh, i heard dogs i thought no i hear the frog that's what i'm hearing oh my god hearing all those companions running through water is the worst sound in the world we have reports of infiltrators and outskirts what do you mean model if i've wiped you guys out of outskirts you shouldn't even be there but woo, we made it back to Zatan. I'm just gonna see if they have any quests real quick. Uh, military and army warehouse, sure, I'll kill them. Military and army warehouse again, I'll sure, I'll kill them. Oh my god, I have so many freaking quests right there in uh, Jupiter, but that's fine because we're about to go there real quick. Wait, 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 wait. Where's the guide at? Huh? Also, what are they shooting at, guys? Calm down. I need to find the guide. What are they fighting? Bro, they're all aggroed on something. Oh my god, there's grenades going off. What in the world's going happening? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me see what was going on out here. Wait, who did he kill? Oh, there was a freaking sin here? What? Where did that sin come from? Bro, he's like over here in the corner. I did not know he could come over here and pass out. That's interesting, because I've never seen him over here. Woo, we made it here, and I have a package for you. There we go. Get that freaking package off me. It's been on me forever. Let's see. We got assassinate target there. We got clear the area of mutants, and we have a drug runner here. Well, uh, I guess let's uh, go around and do all these real quick, because why not? We've got a million companions. The only annoying thing is Jupiter is running at like 20 FPS right now. That's a joke, by the way. It's more like 30. So the last time I was over here, there was monolith, and it, I've got to assassinate the target, and yep, it's monolith, and I missed. Oh, I got him. That it? I think that's it, boys. All right, job done. I, I, it, I'm I just going to ignore the gunshots. I'm not hearing any gunshots. What are you talking about? No, no, no. There's there's no one shooting at us. We already killed him. I don't know what they could possibly be shooting at. No, that gunfire. That gunfire is nothing. Nope. I'm just heading over to a stash. And we're at a purple stash. Let's see what's in it. And, oh, a drug making kit and a case. That's actually pretty good. That's an ammo crate. Okay, that's interesting. Jeez, that ammo crate weighs 14 pounds whole or 14 kilograms. That's insane. I was wondering why it put me in the red, but that's why it put me in the red. And finally, we got a drug runner. So let's go grab that. Oh, I hear something. I hear something. Oh, oh, dude, that I'm, I, dude, I'm not even kidding you. That scared me. And it's like nothing to be scared of. I'm so annoyed right now that that scared me. Can you die? Hello? I'm, I give up. I give up. I give up. Oh, hi. There we go. Got it. Now, where's this stash? It's supposed to be somewhere in the bush right here. There it is. Dude, I can't access the stash because it's underwater. What's going on? There we go. All right, there's the drug runner. And it's also got a bunch of other stuff. Oh, we're way down once again. Oh, great. I'm like super way down. Ah, eh, we'll be fine. We're not going far distances. It's okay. Actually, here, you know what? Arthur, congratulations. You get to hold on to some stuff for me. Dude, Jupiter is just so incredibly laggy. I hate it. It's 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 when I turn towards Yanov that it gets like insanely laggy. By the way, did you guys hear that on August 12th? We're going to get like 30 minutes of Stalker 2 footage. That should be great. I, I can't wait. Well, they said 30 minutes of like Stalker information. So I don't know how much actual gameplay we're going to get. It did say it's going to follow a full mission though, which is cool. Anyways, I have a quest to turn in on you. The job is done. There we go. Assassinate the target. Nice. And a Lamont's stash because I'm totally going to be going back there anytime soon. And it's a green. So yeah, definitely we'll be going back there. All right, buddy. Take me to... I want to go to... Ooh. Oh, I was hoping you could take me to Army Warehouse so I could turn in that crate, but that's okay. Let's go to the bar. All right. First things first, drop off literally everything. We got way too much crap. Okay. I need to sell all these scopes. I have way too many. Holy crap. All right, guys. Really quickly, give me all these attachments. I'm going to go sell them. I got way too many. Also, I'm going to open that ammo box. It better give me like a ton of stuff considering it weighs 14 kilograms. That's insane. Hey, barkeep. Come over here, buddy. Come... Oh, whatever. I'll, I'll come to you. There we go. All right. How would you like literally everything basically like i don't need one i don't need one of those i need two of these there we go 12k in that that's that's pretty good and i got all these down here that i don't need look at that look at the money that i'm making off these boys we are rich 36k from all this junk there we go sell it <sighs> now that we've gotten rid of all that we can get everything off fanatic and then we can go down to uh our good friend yeah we also need to edit it to where faction patches uh, i'm pretty sure there's a mod for it that makes faction patches weigh nothing like we need that uh because uh 
I'll be real, it doesn't really matter if faction patches weigh something or not. They don't really need to. Now, what's nice is we do have this FAMAS. I picked this up because I do like the FAMAS as a gun. I think it's a really cool gun. Yeah, so when we do a Operation Afterglow, I might actually repair this FAMAS and use it because I, I, I kind of like the FAMAS a lot. It's a pretty cool gun. All right, so first off, I think it would be a good idea. Let's open this locked lead lined box. It probably has artifacts, I'd assume. And yes, it does. It has a generator and it has grapes. Uh, that was, I'm gonna be real, kind of pointless. Maybe they sell for something, I don't know, but like that that was kind of pointless. All right, let's see. This ammo box better have like a lot of stuff if I can open it, cause are you kidding me? It weighed freaking 14 kilograms and all it gives me is 90 FMJ rounds of 762 by 39. That's ridiculous. Man, I don't even believe it. Yeah, I'm kind of surprised I haven't got a monolith crate either, cause I, I got one last time. I specifically remember getting them. Dude, I got 41 bandages on me. Call me the bandage king. All right, well, I think we dropped everything off. So, uh, do we sleep? Yeah, we sleep, we sleep. And then we go to Sid. All right, we are now awake and there wasn't an emission. So that tells me there's probably gonna be one on my way. Actually, I should see real quick if there's any quests while I make my way down there. Come on, why do they keep giving me aggro prom stuff? Guys, I am not going to aggro prom. And also, no, I'm not giving you, oh, dude. Yeah, truck cemetery, army warehouse. Yeah, no. Okay, well, we're just gonna get going. I'm kind of amazed that we had enough ammo to finish the sin quest line because I thought I was gonna run out of ammo before the end of that. I love that it always. Oh, dude, look! Oh my God, the gods have answered me. Look. Now, how much you wanna bet? Now that it's a bright sunny day, I'm gonna get like no scope headshotted and it's gonna reload me and it's gonna be a dark gloomy day where it's like turns into darkness. That'd be hilarious. Yeah, or an emission starts. It'd be really funny if an emission starts. Oh yeah, yeah, persistent weather uh, does corrupt saves. It 100% does, because I tested it. Um, I tested it, I backed up a couple of saves just to be safe. Um, I had added it, this is back on Gamma by the way, so I don't technically know what it would do with EFE, but um, I had added it and yeah, I could not load any of my saves whatsoever. Every single one of them was broken. I, uh, I had to get rid of it and then put the new one back in, so. Yeah, it's definitely an issue. Uh, I do have a stash right here. It's the one, yeah, it's like the one. Can I get close enough? Come on, come on. Just need to be a little, there we go. Oh, another locked something. And I hear gunshots over there, which means military probably. Dude, how does the military keep coming back? Like I've killed them, I don't know how many times over here. Is it because, oh, it's probably because I haven't taken out their base in Cordon. That makes sense. I need to take out their base in Cordon. But the issue is Sidorovich has a deal with them. Let's see, there they are. They're just struggling with dogs. Is that seriously what's going on here? Wait, whoa, 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 wait, pause, 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 pause. <laughs> Why is there renegades here again? Dude, it's always renegades fighting military. What is wrong with this area, man? You know what? Screw it. I'm just going to ignore them. Come on, guys. Let's just go. By the way, I'm being serious about executing these guys if they don't remove them from my party when I turn this quest in. Oh, but before I turn the quest in, I just realized something. Um, I might want to get back this off him. That's a smart idea. Great. There's a lot of gunfire going on over here, too. Come on, guys. Calm down. Oh, there's a helicopter. Nice little helicopter. Hey, I'm sure whatever's happening here is fine. Let's not worry about it. They're, they're totally having a fun time. After all, the sound it sounds like the shots are coming from the bridge, which probably means it's military shooting someone. Yep, that's almost certainly military. That is a lot of gunfire. You know, how smart are the military really? You know, they guard that bridge over there, but they realize this is here, right? Like they 100% know that this is here. They couldn't even send one single guy to guard right there. Ah, rookie village, we are back again, which we're gonna have to come back here anyways, because when Operation Afterglow begins, we have to talk to Sid again. And we can't begin Operation Afterglow immediately because you have to wait for a freaking transmission. Hi, Sid, I'm finally back, that's right. And, oh, did it remove him from my party? Yes, it did. I don't have to execute anyone. Let's go. You have unlocked the Absolver achievement. I'm trying to see if he has anything new. Oh my God, I don't have a Kevlar insert. Um, you know what? Would you like to sell me uh, the steel plate just for fun? Thank you. We want to be safe about things. You never know. Wait, oh, I can't fit. That's right, because it's a hybrid. Oh no, because hybrid can't fit this. That's right. Well, I just wasted money. That's fine. Um, you know what? There we go. We're disassembling it. <laughs> That was totally worth it. Wait a second. Stalker's unidentified radio transmissions. Wait, it began already? Huh? Okay, that happened faster than it did last time. Because I specifically remember last time, it took like an in-game day almost for the transmission to happen. But that's cool. Encrypted transmission has begun. There we go. Operation Afterglow. Which means we gotta go 
all the way up to Zatan again. You know what, Sid? Sure, contract killer, dead city, because I will totally go to the dead city and I will kill those mercenaries. I promise. It is totally going to happen. Don't even question me. It will happen. Okay, well, I'm glad you changed it to make it to where the, the quest appears instantly because waiting on that was just a pain. Yeah, I've also had it like that to where sometimes that quest doesn't begin even after like uh, in-game week. You know, I think it would be faster to run to the Great Swamps real quick and get them to take me up to the bar. So I think that's what I'm going to do. Plus, I get to visit Clear Sky. You know, I haven't been over there in a while. Oh, I forgot to bring the doctor's kit with me. I could have given it to uh, our Clear Sky brothers. You know, I am kind of curious about switching factions just to see if I could kill those military over there because it would be nice to eliminate them completely from court and so I don't have to worry about them. Plus, if I'm not a loner, I don't have to deal with Sid's little deal. Oh, it feels so nice having only two companions again. Hallelujah. Ooh, I am so glad the game is deciding to keep the persistent weather. And let me be careful because normally it's right about here where I die to something really stupid. It happens every time I'm here, unless there's no one here, which would be great. There's no one here. Oh, wow. You know, I have a feeling the game's going to troll me. At some point, it's just going to crash, and when I reload, it's going to be dark and gloomy again. I know how this game works, and half the time, it's a troll. Uh, there's a green stash in here. I might as well grab it, because it appears to be right down here. And, oh, an ecologist field case. That is interesting. I've never seen one before. I'm just going to take a wild guess and say that more than likely it's got artifacts in it or something. I'll just have to see if I can get more lockpicks because that's the one thing I actually don't have a ton of is lockpicks. I feel like you don't get them that often. It's either you buy them, which they're really expensive, so I really don't want to buy them. Or you just like find them off random dead stalkers. Like they're really not that common. Some guy wants anti-radiation drugs, plastic jars. Sure, I'll give you those. I always want to help my clear sky friends. There you go. Job is done. And he gave me two. Oh, wow, that's actually not bad. I'll be real. And then you, job is done. Plastic jars. Yep, just a little bit. Oh, the almighty monolith. Uh, Sin, you guys aren't supposed to exist anymore. Can you stop messaging me? Like, I'm sorry to tell you you guys this, but you're you're kind of dead. All right, now I specifically remember the last time I came over here. For some reason, there were renegades here. So, nope, clear sky, cool. Never know. Three piece sharpening stones. Sure, dude, I'll just give it to you. As I said, I want to help out these bros. They're, they're always my friends. There you go. And 4,600, uh, not very good for that, but that's okay. Honestly, if there was a faction I'd like to disguise as, it would probably be Clear Sky. That way I could go and see what the mercs are up to at Dead City since I haven't really been in there at all. And we've made it here. Time to see if any of these guys have quests before we leave. Deliver the package to Jupiter. I'm going to have to go up there no matter what. Sure. <laughs> Classified information, Dead City. Sure, dude. Because I'm going to be going there. Totally. Or Vinka. Sure, dude. I got plenty. Always willing to give this guy some uh, medical supplies, my friend. He's helped me so many times. There you go, buddy. Scarce supplies. Oh, my God. Holy, 31k for four Vinka? That's insane. Yo, I did not think he was about to give me that much. All right, real quick, let's see if they have anything over here. I doubt it, but just to see. Dude, what in the world is this? A freaking pancreatic sniper. So I've never heard of this before. Let me quick save, because I'm just going to buy this real quick, because I want to see what in the world this is. Oh, it's just like, okay. Is there like an alternate sight firing mode on this, or is this just it? I mean, this is a pretty cool scope. I like it, but I don't know if I'd buy it. Let's see if there's anything else I'd like to uh, buy and see real quick. Here, electronic targeting scope. Ooh, look at that. CS4B. He has a 4B. Now, the only reason I wouldn't buy this is specifically that 95% movement speed multiplier. We have learned by now that that's way too slow. Yep, there we go. <laughs> Honestly, I kind of like this. I, I, I kind of like this. I really shouldn't, but I do. I don't know why. Do they want so many faction patches? I wish I kind of kept them on me. Either way, hello, dude. I'd like to use your services and take me to the bar. All right, boys, do you guys over here want anything? Deliver packages to Ton. Nope. Army warehouse, kill bandit, sure. Army warehouse, clear bandit, sure. I'm just going to accept, like, basically everything I can. We might as well do, like, a big turn in real quick, see how much money we can make. Oh, actually, we're at 210k. I didn't even notice that. That's pretty good. It is so laggy when looking over here. Why is it so laggy? Holy crap. It is, like, incredibly laggy when looking over here. That's crazy. Why does he keep wanting me to go to aggro prom? Like, holy crap. Defend raw stock and wild territory, sure. A bunch of dead city quests because once again they really want me to go to dead city to a giant eye that's fine by me oh my god how many quests am i gonna accept holy crap there we go we're out now all right time to grab everything all right let's start turning everything in how much money are we gonna make so we're at 210 right now let's remember that job is done on that side for 690 well 
That's not very much. You always got to remember, though, this is EFP where they give you freaking mutant parts like crazy. So job is done on the... Oh, wait. He gave me a beacon. Thank you, I guess. All right. There you go. Knowing is half the battle. Yantar, 54, 62. Not very good. And then the rest of the quests I have to turn in are all down in the bar. Jesus. You know, I think that's probably why the game is lagging so bad over here because there's so many people down in the bar. Because as soon as I turn like a, a certain direction, the FPS like shoots up. <laughs> all right hello everyone let's turn some stuff in and job is done on that pseudo giant i 71 30 that's uh, not very good for soon giant i if i'm being real job is done on him zombie hand he almost gave me dude like how come they give me so little for freaking eyes but hands is like good all right controller scalp 3680 lurker eye on him 1840 side dog fur and yeah nothing really yeah, so uh, we really didn't make that much. We were at 210. We're, we're now at 232. So all those quests that I just turned in and barely made anything. All right, now what I'd argue we should do is since we have so many upgrade stuff, we should upgrade our armor more. Because more than likely, I'm going to be using this armor for the rest of the playthrough. So we might as well just go ahead and give it the uh, spa treatment, you know? Just grab everything out like that. Oh, I forgot. I can't upgrade from this menu because why would I be able to, huh? Here, I'm just going to start moving every, every upgrade thing over to here. Yeah, I know the upgrades for this suit isn't exactly the best but i'd rather just go ahead and like upgrade it as much as possible you know because as i said i don't think i'm going to be using anything else i think this is actually the uh the final the final suit you know all right so let's see what upgrades we can do because we haven't upgraded this at all so wait this ups the, it that much hold on hold on hold on let me save real quick so you're telling me 19.31 126 all right let's go ahead and just get armor class plus 10 percent wow that put me up two. yeah it, well no it went up yeah two kilos that's crazy i did not know that would raise it by two kilos that's pretty insane stamina recovery is really good Ooh, a, a attachment modules do i get two attachment modules no the weight carried makes more sense there we go we're going with that and we're gonna get bleeding uh or wound healing in other words we're about to be unstoppable and uh body armor weight minus five or armor class was uh body weight minus five suit durability burn resistance and then radiation resistance there we go so we're basically upgrading this all the way boom there we go because wound healing weighs a lot we're back to 19.6 but hey that's that's fine by me this works that's pretty good so you really why does suit durability weigh nothing this game truly is illogical with how it does certain things isn't it now the good thing about having an extra slot is we can just put another pseudo giant hide in so uh yeah there we go boom <laughs> we have three now you know, I've noticed something. This gun isn't breaking at all. Like, what is the durability on this gun? I haven't repaired it once since making it. Is something glitched on it? I seriously haven't repaired it a single time. But since I was talking about using the FAMAS next, I'm definitely going to repair this real quick. So let's go ahead and repair the FAMAS. We definitely can. Well, I'm going to assume we can. Yeah, see? Yeah, we got, we got plenty of stuff, right? Yeah, we do. We just got to repair a little bit. There you go. That's 95 all right go ahead and repair that 96 100 95 93 and 99 let's go boom cool now we have a basically fully repaired from us that should be pretty good but hey dude look at this there you go Ni nice looking gun pretty cool looking gun i like the way it looks yeah, we're gonna go ahead and mark that as favorite and then put that up now the thing that we actually need to repair is this shotgun because we said that we were going to use a new shotgun and this was going to be the one so we do really need to repair this real quick i'm once again assuming i have the stuff for it oh yeah we we definitely have the stuff for it the only thing we need is a, a barrel and i could just disassemble this and get the barrel out of it since we're not going to be using it anymore uh first let me see if i can buy one because if i can buy one i guess i'll just do that all right how much is it instead of ooh 8k yeah dude that's worth buying all right well i guess it's time to say goodbye to the remington let's put it up goodbye you will always be my third love question mark and a hundred and a hundred and a hundred ninety five and a hundred boom prepare look at this baby right here nice oh uh i did not know it had a bullet and i did not know that it had a magazine in it <laughs> i'm glad i didn't aim at anything i had no idea I'm not even kidding you. I did not know it had a Mac in it. Oh, that could have that could have been a uh, kind of bad, but like extremely funny too. All right. Well, in that case, that means we have a uh, three magazines, which is nice. Now, one thing I might have to do is get rid of one of these pseudo giant hides for a mag pouch because we don't really have room for this. That is, if I can find the mag pouch among all my junk, it would be at the bottom, I think, right? Uh, dude, it really doesn't help that I'm blind. Like, it, it's probably right in front of my eyes. Like, oh, see? Told you. Yeah, see, if I put the medium on there, it should give me, yeah, two extra. I do need to see if I can find, like, extended mags, if they make any for this. I'm assuming there are, because 10 shots, while good, I do wish I could have, like, a little tiny bit more. So, uh, we'll have to check on that. 
But either way, look at that gun. Oh, look at that. That's nice. That's nice. I love having 221 matches. That's great. Can this shotgun have any interesting upgrades? Ew, three round burst. I don't know why. I just absolutely hate three round burst in every gun. I would never add that to this. All right, we might as well turn in this drug runner kit at Army Warehouse. Let's get going. I'm really interested to use this gun. So, you know, hopefully when we go through the low zone, there will be something on the other side to shoot. And hopefully it'll remain a beautiful day. Not only will there be no one on the other side, but it will be a gloomy day. All right, did I jinx myself and... Oh, it's a nice day. And, uh, well, there's no one to shoot here, but uh, at least it's a nice day. Ah, uh, there's a lot of shooting, actually. I don't think it's anything wait 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 did i hear english hold on who in the world's up here am i going crazy i swear i heard like one english voice line oh dude my my guys are aggro my guys are aggro there's something here wait oh okay what is going on there's a bunch of dead duty on the ground what is going on wait there's a boar right there wait what what is happening who's throwing grenades and for what reason wait this is a duty guy what is going on who threw those grenades Okay, I have, like, no idea who killed these guys because there's literally no freedom around here. I don't see any freedom. It's just a bunch of duty guys that are just laying here dead. There's, like, yeah, there's one freedom guy, but he's all the way back there. Did he freaking Kobe that? Also, what freaking freedom guy patrols this area? They normally don't come back here. That's so weird. Wait, wait, well, hold on, hold on, hold on. There's a lot of dots on my minimap over here. Oh, my God. What happened here? Holy crap. There is a bunch of zombified stalkers right in this corner that they killed that's pretty insane dude hey brother i got your um package for you there you go job is done and you gave me morphine nice now do you guys have anything new for me the ton well we got to go there anyway so bandages i can do that now oh wait it's the same guy I just turned stuff into i'm pretty sure hey um okay here's your bandages no problem dude i got you twice but all right, we repaired this new gun, and in the next episode, I guess we get to uh, take on Unisig because we're finally beginning the Afterglow quest line. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.